rockets. Judge is starting to nice. stuff him into the corner. And with that frag, this might open the floodgates for him once again. And he might be looking for just a more run, run, run. But Shoddy in the face yes. is going to be doing a lot of damage. But Judge is going to pick it up. And this is where it's like, okay, another run, another chance has been given to me. I need to keep this going. But at what? the same time, he needs to what? not do things like flooding up rocket gems to red armor. That's not going to help. But hey, there's, you know, free mega. Might as well Duh. just, like, make a pit stop and grab that. And with red still up, I mean, Judge is going to eat a rail here, but for the mo Oh, okay. Shut my mouth. A second rail will definitely be changing Judge's tune here. Yeah. So and Judge actually, this is really risky. You can see he's trying to figure out, well, what the hell? Where do I go, man? Because this is Judge misses this. the jump to red. Gela. Oh my god, he got railed. Dead. They face off <laughs> nice three shot. times at the red armor before it's grab. Maybe yeah. Four times, actually. Yeah, nice little face off there. But I want to go back to that fight that turned things back around for Judge, where uh, he started off with LG on LG, but then he realized that Gelasak had backed himself into a corner. And so he switched up to Rocket. Gelashak was still dodging as if he was dodging against LG, and Judge just said, let me pop you into that corner and hold you there. I mean, just fantastic play by Judge. And uh, I, I love that weapon switch. Usually, you know, you typically see LG on LG, and people are afraid to switch weapons, but fantastic play. Gelashak defending himself with the rail, bringing this thing within two. Folks, we are almost at the two-minute warning, and Gelashak has just fragged his opponent, giving him an opportunity for this red armor, hitting Judge in the ass again. And we're gonna see a little bit of a rocket jump. Judge does have a railgun, but will not hit with it. He only has 50 armor and the remnants of a mega health. Uh, Galasak, on the other hand, not quite topped off on health, but really strong on armor. Ooh, really lucky to not eat a rocket there. Uh, he'll eat finally one, a big one from Judge, knocking him down to about 30 health as he gets to 25 up to 59 health and 72 armor. <laughs> nice anticipation of the red armor grab and Galastak does a little bit of damage. Mega health is up now. And Galastak looking for the pickup oh and Judge God. getting in the corner. That is so, so much damage. 19 rocket. health. Uh, is that another anti-clutch wow. in the last moments? We're, we're not there yet. He was we're not there yet. Judge can still run. It's a little bit early to be running, but he I'm has that option as long. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it's ZTN. Uh, cough to hang, cough. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but to hang is to oh, hang. God, the rails. Yeah, that rail was huge in the last minute and a half. Judge has to find a way to stay Don't alive. Don't eat the rail. Maybe Don't even get a few power-ups. There we go. Oh, <laughs> lucky enough to pull off that mega health. Lucky enough that Big rocket. Gela wasn't in his face. Now so here's the thing though, Judge. Up. Yeah, Judge has no armor. And Gelasak is searching, stacking up big time. Still down by a frag as we hit the one minute warning. Judge does have 56 armor. And he hears his opponent. Knocks him out of the way. That gives nice him an exit. Yeah, yeah, this, this is this is good. Oh, that's not good. Reds up. Nice move oh, by that Judge red so quickly. That might be enough to give Judge yeah, enough be. of a stack. And, you know, leaving this fight here, very, very nice work. But getting stuffed into... I mean, look at this. Just the drop down from Gelsack. He's really hungry for this frag. And it's causing him to go forward into some, some situations that he probably really shouldn't be. He ends up losing out on position. And with only 20 seconds left, that red armor grabbed by Judge. Not looking good. Gelsack really depending on this LG to give him the win. And it might... Oh, no, holy Judge. crap! just does wow uh. 10 to 8 10 seconds judge has done it fantastic uh, game judge folks Dredd fantastic just game Sylvester Stallone his ass we are tied map for map 1 and 1 11 to 8 was the final score of this one one impressive for judge five impressives for Gelasek Holy shit balls, folks. 27% overall accuracy for Gelasak, lightning gun, the best weapon. Uh, Judge, 30% accuracy overall, rocket launcher. All right, DM13. So we remove the rail, and it's all about the LG. Well, and rockets too, but mostly LG. So, <laughs> what are you guys' predictions here? Because, you know, we've seen, I think, honestly, Judge has been off on his LG. Uh, Gelasak looking pretty strong with it, but 
making, I think, some mistakes um, item timing wise that I think Judge could capitalize on, especially if his aim warms up as a, it clearly has, at least with the rockets. Um, it, we'll have to see uh, how things unfold, so I'm gonna let them know we are ready to go. Yeah, you know, see, both of these, neither of these players are very defensive, and I would say DM13 by nature yeah. is a defensive map. So I, I actually could not venture a guess as how to this, how this is gonna go. I mean, it's not also a map that is Prepare prone to, to crazy pop rockets and, and mid-airs either, so... Either way, we're going live and very soon, three seconds, one... That's right, we're live with the third and final map between these two players. You know, Gela was able to get that rocket launcher and is dropping down to the red armor, so that's a pretty oh, decent crap. start with for him. He's going to be able to go oh, all the way to the mega help. <laughs> Judge <laughs> not able to get either of the main power-ups, although... Judge is so behind. He, he missed a jump. A of, you know, a, a kind of a critical jump, and so he's so far behind in terms of any access to anything. He has a lightning gun, he has a plasma gun, and he has only 89 armor because he sharded up after one... 50 uh, armor. So, really, as far as like items and position go, I mean, I, this is, I think, really risky to be out in the middle of the map. Uh, he's waiting 10 seconds for this to come up. The LGYA mm -hmm. is up. Yellow Sax just handily grabbing red and mega. He's like, I'll just time these all day long, no problem. Uh, Judge did double back to, to LGYA to pick that up, but this one's way too risky. I like the fact that he spammed it. He didn't hit big rockets, though, so he's actually not very well off here. He needed to hit a really big rocket to start out that fight. Gallus is going to be ending that still with 140 health and now, oh crap, oh, dropping no, in behind Judge. No. Oh god. Man, yeah. But, you know, quite frankly, um, that might have been kind of a good thing because just, there were so many things wrong with that start for Judge that the frag might help as like a cleansing ritual or something for a judge because uh, well, I just really everything went wrong for him in those opening moments. So 100-100 um, for Gelisak, judge roughly the same. So we're going to see potentially uh, the next big play. Um, probably just going to happen in the center. These guys are going to poke around um, because we got Mega and Red coming at the same time. So they're, they're going to run into each other eventually. Judge trying to be silent, spotting his opponent, not switching up to the LG quick enough, and so eats more damage than than he uh, dished out. Gelisak just going to hightail it over to... No, he's not going to Mega. Oh, nice. But he did do damage against Judge. That was very nice. Judge pops him out of the cubby hole, and finally Gelisak will get it, but, um, you know... Oh, that's a oh, nice rocket to the face. I switched right as... answered Jesus. by a direct rocket. Judge was yeah. like, oh, yes, my LG rules. And then all of a sudden, just ow, ow, ow. And <laughs> just says, all right, I'm done with it. So two frags up. We're only three minutes into this. Well, two and a half minutes into this, though. So this is still relatively close. But Judge really hasn't oh, found shit. his way into a stack Warden. all night. And oh, the Lafa. Finally tonight, first right. over to, uh, first three wow. half the game tonight, first lava frag. Yeah, lava has not been I doing its job lately. One single blue ball. I didn't even know that one single blue ball could knock you off if your mid strafe jump. That was crazy. Mm -hmm. He just got knocked by one plasma bolt, and it sent him plummeting into the lava, and therefore his death. A judge, a Geller opting to pop down there. I don't know if that was the right. Oh. Spamming the teleporter sure. exit with some grenades is going to do him just fine in that situation. Judge now with a four frag deficit in the first three minutes. That's a little too fast for DM13. It's really hard to gain momentum on DM13. So Judge really has to play smart if he wants to get back in this game. And going head first with LG when he's got the bigger stack is not what I'd consider mm. playing smart. Neither would I consider trying to MG him. Maybe he just didn't like his spawn or something like that. Uh, maybe, I mean, he's not even going for one of the big power-ups. Yeah, I, I, so I think I'm maybe really that... I'm not sure what he can do here. I think the Lava Bath really kind of pissed off Judge a little bit. Uh, we're seeing some less than ideal rage, decisions come out. From yeah, I mean, less than ideal say, though, aim as well. Gelisax 30% LG definitely throwing in some nice bit of damage here. Oh, there he's is. early, and he's gonna be late as in dead. Yeah, I hate it when I'm dead. I always miss my armors. 
Alright, that's actually a nice, nice uh, rocket from...